Hey there, Alan Matthews here from Classical Guitar Shed, and in this video right here today, we're going to be talking about shoulder pain, neck pain, back pain when playing the classical guitar. What a bother, but we're going to talk about some ways to relieve it and fixes for it. So when we're playing the classical guitar, this thing, just to say, just to state the obvious, this is a really cumbersome, asymmetrical instrument. It's boxy, we have to sit in a weird way, it's hard to hold, we have to wrap ourselves around it so our arms are gonna always be up and, and out. And so this, there is no comfortable way to play this thing for long periods of time. It just, it's not gonna happen because well, there's no static position that will allow us that because we are having to manipulate this weirdly shaped instrument. So with that said, how we use our body is going to determine how much pain we have and how we practice and everything else. So there are long-term fixes and short-term fixes for shoulder pain, neck pain, back pain whenever playing the guitar. First off, um, let's talk about some short-term fixes because if you're hurting right now, it doesn't matter what you can do in, in a couple of years because you're hurting. So first off is take frequent breaks. So number one, if, it's, if you're hurting, then stop. Put the guitar away, do some shoulder shrugs, do a little bit of moving around, get up, walk around, shake it out, and then come back. So that will allow things to release a little bit and not build up to such a red line over time. That said, whenever we're actually playing, what can we do? Next thing is that you can make sure that you've got a good sitting position. If you're using a footstool and your knees up way up here by your chest, then chances are, yes, you're going to get some pain from that because it's, it's a weird body shape. And so using a guitar support, um, this is a Barnett guitar support or a Sage work it is now. So wh whatever kind you want, get the guitar neck up and get it to where you can just sit here just like this and be on your, in a good sitting position upright instead of hunching over doing this weird stuff. If you're, if you're like this, then yes, you will be sore doing that for, you know, just sit in that position for 20 minutes and see what happens. So get into a good sitting position. Okay, so that said, assuming that you are in a good sitting position and everything and you're taking frequent breaks, then it's good to know that your shoulder, if your shoulder's hurting, it's not actually your shoulder. It's not a local issue. It, it, you feel it here, but there's more at work than that. Everything is connected. So the tension that you're holding in your neck and your back, your back muscles are holding onto that shoulder blade and pulling it down and then you're wanting to pull it forward. Um, so everything is connected. The tension that you hold in your hips and in your legs, in your neck, in your face, all of this is connected to your shoulder. And you know, your neck is very close to your shoulder. So all the tension that you have there is pulling on that and then you are pulling against it, holding your hand out this way, holding your arm up like this and all that's working to just block that sucker down. So it's, it's getting really stiff. The problem with playing the guitar though is that it's so complex, we don't have time to think about um, relaxing. When we're actually playing a piece, I don't have time to think about my shoulder because I'm thinking about the notes. I'm thinking about my right hand fingerings and left hand fingerings. There's just too much going on. It takes too much bandwidth to keep attention on our bodies at the exact same time. So the best way to get it, well long term, I recommend Alexander Technique lessons. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a body thing, it's, very, it's a mental and body thing. It's hard to talk about, but it's the best thing you'll ever do for yourself. If you can find an Alexander teacher in your area, that's the number one thing. Do that, it's the best quality of life investment you could make in my opinion. So beyond that, then, one of the things that you can do is just to start when you're off the guitar, brushing your teeth and eating and watching TV, whatever it is, then start to notice where you're holding more tension than you need to. So if you are brushing your teeth, are you squeezing the toothbrush really hard? Are you like really getting in there and tensing up your shoulder and your arm to brush your teeth? You don't need to. So you practice and just start noticing that whenever you're sitting in a chair. How are you using your body? And just start noticing all of that. The more that you notice it, then the more you'll be able to notice it on guitar and then just release little things here and there. 
But once we're actually playing the guitar, it's really difficult to do anything at that time. And then the other thing you can do just throughout your daily life is to really notice the tension around your eyes and your back of your tongue and your face and just release that. Just think about your neck being, being free and just not tensing your neck. And just do that as much as you possibly can so that whenever you're sitting somewhere, instead of having hard eyes, then just open it up. And as you practice this ongoing for years, then one, it makes life better because you have less tension in your face and so you're just lighter in general, but also it allows you to release that tension through your neck over time. You form a habit of releasing tension through your neck and re reducing the habitual tension and then that will also spread into your shoulders, down into your arms and everything. So it's the exploration of it. It's not an overnight fix, but ongoing, since you're gonna be playing this thing for years and years and years, then that's one of the things that you can do as an ongoing basis to make your playing better and also just enjoy life more. So to recap, on an ongoing basis, throughout your daily life, away from the guitar, just start to notice where you're using excess tension and first just notice it and then eventually start to release it whenever you notice it. And just make that into a habit of noticing excess tension that will eventually bleed onto the guitar and you, it'll have less tension there as well and be more comfortable playing. If you can find an Alexander Technique teacher, then do it. And in the meantime, make sure that you have a good sitting position and you have the guitar nicely supported and that you take frequent breaks, get up, walk around, do some shoulder shrugs, things like that. Hope this has helped. Good luck in your playing and in your shoulder comfort and please subscribe to this channel if you haven't. See you soon. Bye.